I'm just going to do a really quick tutorial for Pearl here. Um, everything down here is the same, except Legend Trials has moved and it's blacked out because it's not available during events. Um, these you should fill up when you begin every day when you're full of stamina. Um, the bottom two take stamina, the top two take gold. Um, just keep rotating your guildmates out. That gives them, it gives you gold and stamina and sometimes like crappy characters that you can use to upgrade your other guys. Um, but it gives them honor and you need honor to purchase these swamp keys that are marked sold out. See how they're a hundred each? That's a hundred honor points you need for each set of three. You can get 15 extra keys to play with every day if you do that and people do that enough for you. Also by taking your guildmates on missions um, such as main campaign um, if you do Forge Boss or any of the dungeons, um, you won't have Water Trials yet because I don't think you're high enough. And I have VIP, so I have two of these. But this is where you start, is you send someone out to look for keys. Okay, I have both people looking. Then you go to the Crusade. And I only have three keys left, so I'll, you would play a three key level you take somebody with you um and again upper right hand corner this sorting tool you can search by like right now we are we want earth i've used everybody in our guild but just pretend this is our guild um you would select somebody that's gonna help you in the crusade like this guy is pretty great um, Dojin is also great. He's one of the legends. So you would select somebody and then play the Crusade. The Crusade is what gives you keys to come and fight the bosses in the boss arena. As you can see, there are four different kinds. Well, I gotta wait for the... These... Okay. The top three here, these are the solos you fight by yourself. And you'll see underneath where it says here, victory, right above available bosses, starting from the left. That's how many keys you have to crusade with. That's the timer that tells you how many minutes left until you get another one. Um, and then you've got these green tokens for the evolutionary materials. The gold tokens are for the weapon materials. And then you've got these four different kinds of keys that go with these four different bosses. You get, um, let's look here, by playing these two solos, Crowcat and Lothar, you get extra keys to fight this guy who's really hard because he knocks out all but one of your team members and that's the only one you have to fight with to knock three million, almost four million off of him. So it's difficult. You're going to need multiple keys. Like right now, I couldn't do it. I only have seven. I can't do that in two turns, depending on who it chooses. But if you go and look at Crowcat and you click on his reward crate right here, you'll see they've added this new overkill damage, which is pretty cool. Um, just for killing it, these are... All of the things that you get. You get some gold. You get water medals. That's what you spend in the event store. Um, again, these Helm Relic coins, those are for the weapon. And the green ones are for the evolutionary of evolving your event character. Um, the Swamp Trophies go to your standing. Um, the Toxic Core are for that victory collection. Uh, loot tickets are for when you play a dungeon. The chromatic key goes to that guy. Okay, so you do get one, and I forget what the crow cap at the bottom is for. However, if you do enough damage to kill him 1.25 times, you get it all again. 
And if you kill him one and a half times, again, and if you kill him twice over at least, you get it all three, four times now. So by strategically playing and building up power gems until your last hits and try to do it in a cycle of threes, um, like your first move is to get everybody powered up. Let's see who do I have keys for that I can show you. Uh, Lothar, is it? Yes, okay. So you scroll down, you can see your team. So you can easily switch your teams here. Um, and you can see what his skill is, and it's panic. And I don't have anybody on my team with a panic counter. However, if I wanted one, I would choose a duplicate of somebody and go down here, bottom left, swap. Upper right hand corner is your sorting tool. Again, okay, I still want earth, but I'm gonna go down here to counter skill. And what am I looking for? Panic? Yeah. Okay. You're not going to have all of these yet if you don't have characters that have these as either their power or their counter power. Um, so I'm just looking for someone with panic. Set filter. And I've got one guy. So now I've got someone that has the ability to counter his obnoxious panic. And I'm still one keying them. Use one key to kill until you need to use three kills. Three keys because three keys gives you a five time bonus, a five times power bonus. Um, okay, I do not want to. Eh. This might be a crappy tutorial, sorry. Okay, um, I didn't want to get rid of so many of my power gems, but I need to get them powered up. Okay, see how the light came on for everybody? Now you can, if you push and hold on them, it'll tell you what it does. She's going to put five gems down. That's enough to kick in my weapons. That puts extra. So I'll go ahead and load up everybody else, and they just put regular gems on my weapons that are making the power gems. Um, okay. And that knocks a bit off, and I only have a minute left, so I'm going to have to use my other keys. Um, it's hard to talk and do these, but yeah. Okay, damage done, quit. Play again. It's funny, I know a lot of people who make videos, they use the sounds, but I cannot stand in-game music. Oh shit, I did not mean to suck that guy up. Okay, but I've got a power four gem, and you got to keep an eye on those during commander events. See how I just covered with a four? So, like, I would not know where that guy is if I hadn't kept my eye on it, but now I know he's this four don't have any power gems next to each other, but I can make a blob. Not gonna really do much. Alright, let's get serious here. Oh, damn it. Okay. Well, that will at least put... Oh, shoot. Something did that. I'll make a better video showing you how to, um get more power gems included. And I'll come back and kill him later. Unless some kind of magic happens here. And I get two power gems next to each other to swap, which I did. Ugh. That four got stuck in the corner. Hopefully that is not enough. Nope. Okay. Well, let's say I killed him and I had gotten you know, these, I at least have one set 
So with these water metals, this blue circle here, sphere, and back out. And then up here at the top, you've got the event menu. The first thing you want to hit is the event store. You'll see that the soaring blade box, which we call EVOs in every event, because that's all they are. They are the materials for evolving your event character to six star. So you go, you collect as many as you can. Mine might look a little different if you're not VIP. You won't see the purple stuff. You'll see these top green ones. Okay. Now, if you've done that, this collect menu should pop up if you haven't already selected it and done this. And you'd scroll to the bottom, and this Earth Essence is now yours. And then there's your event character, but she's a three star. And yeah, I got another one. I also already got my second free event character. I have it in the other video that's processing, but it's too long. I'll show you what you need to collect in order to get it. And then there's a way to get a 13 time commander from this event if you happen to collect all six of them and get them at least to five star. I only have two. Okay, and then so you'd go and you would take off panic, no filter set. You'd scroll down to the bottom while you had Earth and you'll see that there's a new right above and she'll be at three star. But the evolve button right here should have that red mark where the, it's on the awaken right now, but it'll be on evolve. And you'll hit that enough times to get her all the way to six star and make her a 10 times commander. Um, the math goes. 10 times plus however many other commander gems you get to link in a snake or tease or whatever as long as they are connected together they add up and the number of gem matches you've made is a multiplier times your attack right there of 1300 just that with no powering up um, but if you've crusaded you'll have some where my dark wisp is you will have your green potions and you can start powering her up and because i have multiples i could awaken her but i've already gotten three so i awakened this one instead and i'm still using the other one on my team um yeah so you fight these guys you get those rewards um add her to your team and then victory collection as you've been fighting bosses you've been collecting these toxic cores that's what these green things are and the medallions are the victory medals and you can collect all of these prizes which is pretty cool um the toxic or the victory medals only come from fighting this guy who's the hardest he gives away the victory medals and the chromatic boss levels. Um, good amount of trophies though, and uh, more gold and event store money and material money for your characters and your weapon if you choose to get it. Alright, I hope that helps you out.